our infrastructure is largely built. And so the challenges that we're dealing with in the U.S. is about how to manage and preserve our infrastructure. Sometimes we call it geriatric engineering, managing uh, this aging stock of, of infrastructure. And uh, that requires a whole different mindset, and it requires a whole different set of tools. That's civil engineer Franklin Moon. With support from an ARA-funded grant from the National Science Foundation, Moon and collaborators are stepping up to the challenge. They are using modern technology to help monitor the structure of bridges, while also educating young civil engineers about how bridges perform. And they have transformed a massive bridge into a living laboratory, a learning bridge. The, the main idea of the learning bridge is to put uh, operating infrastructures at the centerpiece of the engineering education curriculum. So uh, we're pretty much focused on civil structural engineering. And so the idea is any concept that we, that we believe we need to be uh, teaching, we use operating infrastructure to illustrate that. The learning bridge itself is the Tacony Palmyra Bridge. Uh, it was constructed in 1931 uh, as a moving bascule span, it has some fixed truss spans, and it has a major arch span. Uh, and so we're, we're currently uh, developing modules to uh, illustrate key engineering concepts by using the performance of, of that structure. As part of the project, they have attached sensors, monitoring devices, and video cameras to the bridge to measure how it responds to temperature, wind, and traffic and the live data gets transmitted to classrooms. So what we've done is tried to link things together with video uh, in a synchronized manner. And so students can now see trucks driving across the bridge and they can immediately see what the response of the bridge is. So how does the bridge carry that truckload? Which, which members are highly stressed, which members are not so highly stressed? And what this project allows us to do is actually uh, bring real life infrastructure in real time streaming into the classroom and so uh, it just provides a much more sound connection between the students and the products of the profession that, that they're that they're studying to uh, to become a part of and when it comes to finding solutions to the problems facing america's vast infrastructure moon and collaborators believe their research is a unique step in the right direction we hear a lot about aging infrastructure and crumbling infrastructure around the U.S. And, and uh, the reality is that just funding infrastructure is not going to be enough for us to kind of uh, get our hands around that challenge. What you need are a new wave of engineers that understands how to use modern technology that it can creatively leverage these things to, to address uh, this very contemporary uh, societal challenge associated with infrastructure. And so anything that we can do to better attract top talent to engineering uh, in the U.S. Uh, and then educate those students uh, once they've selected engineering, uh, that really is going to have the biggest impact on our infrastructures in, in the U.S. And really it's the only way uh, to get to some sort of sustainability uh, related to our infrastructure.